This is my take on the dust tube for a CNC machine because I was getting an inordinate amount of dust. I do have a dust extraction system mounted underneath the bench, which will go to this eventually, but I'm, re I'm going to reroute this pipe work here. But this is a dust shoe. This brush I bought off eBay, very simple brush. The uh, unit here is made from MDF, although it's split a little bit here, but I repaired it. The brush is cut into a groove inside here. This was done on easel on the back of the, on the, on the CNC machine. I had to cut the back out a little bit to allow access for the CNC for the for the router to get past it because it was catching. But this router actually sits close to this because I want this center to be very close to the center of the rails here. I didn't want to pack it out any further because you'll get some twist. This mechanism on here is actually mounted on two draw slides from Screwfix in the UK. And these are just corner brackets. Um, and this is a piece of polypropylene waste pipe and the hole is just fitted directly into there. This is all held on with magnets. These magnets are six millimeter and they protrude underneath this about a millimeter. And that gives me the registration onto these magnets in here. So when this goes into this, this pushes up here and this unit clips onto there. And that is actually really quite difficult to take off now. So when it's on the machine, it, it doesn't come loose on the machine. So this now fits under there and clip and it's on the machine. Now I can move this up and down. So when the router goes down, the unit will go down past it. But if I move the router down in increments, the router can go down into there and also up. And if I take the unit all the way up, it will actually bring the unit up a little bit off the table. Now that then allows me to get the, the shoe off again. So this is a very simple device. It's again, like a lot of people, it's held on with magnets. It was probably 15 pounds for the brush. The Perspex was probably about 12 pounds for the piece I bought, but it was a rather large sheet. So I've got spare for other projects. The hose, the pipe is spare pipe, so that didn't cost me anything. The nice thing about this is with the with the vernier on here, when this is down at the table, I can zero this vernier so that I know exactly where I am at the table and I can move it up and I can move it up my 3.8 millimeters from the part and I can continue again. So I can make my zero point with this off, move it up a set distance, measure from here, put this back on again and then move it down to the mark that's on the vernier and then I'm back at the zero point on the machine. I hope you like this. Uh, I'm quite happy with it at the moment. Everything seems to function okay. The dust collection is, is picking up fairly well. This is from before I used it. So uh, we'll see how this performs in the, in the near future. I might cut this a little bit shorter. I'm not sure yet. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, if anybody wants the files for the, for the route for this, I have them on my machine and I'm quite happy to give them to somebody if they want them. Okay, thank you very much. If you can, would you subscribe if, uh, and give me a like if possible. Uh, it all helps just a small update on this dust shoe i'm exceptionally happy with it now the use of the linear slides at the side creates a, a floating form really uh, it has very very little friction on top of the surface and can move about over the top of the clamps the dust collection system underneath using a vacuum and a cyclone is working very very well so far i'm exceptionally happy with it there's no dust in the shed thank you very much for watching bye bye
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, I'm always happy to receive and will reply where I can. Please like and subscribe. I am trying to get this channel off the ground and I have many more ideas as now I've added a, a small laser engraver and looking for a 3D printer. From this, there are many more exciting adventures to come. Thank you again. Goodbye.